Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Mothering in Style, where I share my love for fashion, beauty lifestyle, and bring you along on my motherhood journey. So in today's video, we're talking how to style oversized clothing. And this is something that I think that a lot of people struggle with, and it's something that I have used to really struggle with as well. So I feel like I'm really well versed for us to have this conversation. So in today's video, I'll take you through what I think are some of the easiest items to incorporate into your wardrobe if you really just want to dip your toe in to the oversized trend as a beginner and also how to style them and some tips to just make you feel more comfortable to still look chic put together and feminine in an oversized outfit so let's get straight to it if you're new here my name is Joa. if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in to another video so the first item that i think is really easy for anyone to incorporate into their wardrobe and that is an oversized button down shirt and i feel like everyone must own one of these I just don't know anyone who doesn't own a shirt, but I definitely think an oversized shirt is a style, staple, a closet essential, whatever you want to call it, but it's important. And I think what is great about them is that they work all year round, but particularly for spring and going into spring season, I think shirts are even more key. And the thing that I love about a shirt is that you can wear them casually, you can wear them more formal, you can wear them in the evening, and and it's all about the styling. They look great back with skirts, shorts, trousers, jeans, like everything. And that is what I think is just so versatile about a shirt. And some of the styling tips that I would really recommend is definitely to have a few buttons undone at the neck, showing a bit of skin here, and being able to show off your jewelry just really helps to create places to draw the eye. And I think what makes people feel uncomfortable in oversized clothing is often feeling drowned and kind of taken over by whatever oversized item they have on. But if you just have that bit of skin showing, it really draws the eye to it and kind of takes it away from your oversized outfit. And I think that helps in terms of bringing the outfit together have some gorgeous jewelry on that just like makes you feel feminine and makes you feel sexy if you do have it on quite low i do think wearing a really nice bra or a little crop top underneath that you know you see kind of like a glimpse of as you move also is a really gorgeous look rather than wearing a shirt just over your jeans and just like wide and loose definitely tucking it and twisting it in different ways. And I will link above a video that I did a couple of weeks ago that really goes into detail of this and shows you five ways to style your shirt and to really get the most out of it. So I really recommend that video um, if that's something that you're interested in. But I think at least tucking one side or tucking the center of your shirt into your jeans or your trousers or your skirt or your shorts that you're wearing it with, really helps in terms of drawing the eye to the waist and again bringing balance to your outfit and i think if there's one thing that you take away from this video balance is everything when it comes to wearing more oversized clothing so just tucking that in at the waist is bringing the eye there it's splitting your outfit up and that will prevent you from feeling like you're wearing a massive sack and make it that bit more flattering the other way that you can also style an oversized shirt it is definitely wearing it open as well and I think that's another great way to incorporate something a bit more oversized to your outfit in a way that you'll still feel comfortable. So wearing a more fitted top underneath, like say you've got jeans and a little fitted tank or where there's this big trend around bra tops and crop tops and wear your shirt oversized as a layering piece and I think that's a really easy way to incorporate that trend into your personal style in a way that still makes you feel comfortable. My next oversized closet essential, is that what we're calling them? Yeah, oversized closet essential is an oversized t-shirt. And this is something that I think that anyone can incorporate into their wardrobe and it really can fit any body type and it just depends on what kind of cut of t-shirt that you go for. But I think sizing up by a size or two or even three, really just gives a relaxed and laid back feel. It's a great casual piece to have in your wardrobe for spring. And it's just something that's easy to chuck on and then you can elevate it by adding jewelry, adding a necklace, some hoops, a nice belt, 
all of those things can really take like jeans and a t-shirt to the next level. So if you are bustier, I think going for a v-neck is more flattering. Just being able to kind of like see that eye line from your chin and your neck down to your chest really just brings that proportion to your outfit and elongates this area. And I think that's something that's great also if you're petite and you just wanna look that little bit longer. Having a v-neck can be really, really flattering. If you prefer to go for a crew, again, just going for that size up, more of a boxy shape like I'm wearing today. This one I'm wearing today also has shoulder pads in it. And I really like that because I just think it adds that dimension to the shoulders. And it's such a plain item, but I think that really helps to just give an outfit a little bit more edge. I would make the same recommendations as with the shirt to just kind of tuck it at the center front into your jeans or into your trousers or skirt that you're wearing. And it would really help to just bring a bit of shape to the outfit. My next oversized closet essential is what I consider to be the most important one and the easiest one. I don't think everyone necessarily has one, but if you don't, I think you should get one. And that is a blazer. And I think that this is just critical like it's crucial that you have this in your wardrobe and that's because they are so versatile they can go over so many different outfits and they really can help you to elevate an outfit just throwing a blazer over a t-shirt and jeans just takes it to the next level if you've got a midi dress on you can throw a blazer over it and i think some people feel like it's a bit masculine or it doesn't feel that feminine, but blazers definitely can be feminine. And I think even if they're oversized, you can really get that feminine feel with them. So in terms of how you do that, I really think it's about what you pair it with. So where I mentioned before about bra tops and crop tops being in, this is a great way to integrate this. And if you just go for a crop top and jeans, throw over an oversized blazer. It really just, the proportions of going from the oversized blazer to a fitted crop top underneath is just really, really flattering. I think in terms of dresses, if you go for like a slimmer sort of midi dress or a long sleeve, slim midi, which I think looks great in spring. Again, throwing a blazer over it just makes it feel more relaxed. And that's another thing that I love about it is if you have a really dressy outfit on, or a dressy dress and you just kind of want to dial it down just that bit. I mean, I don't know why we're dialing our outfits down, but you know when you just want to feel that bit more relaxed and less put together, I think just chucking a blazer over your shoulders is a really great way of doing that. And the other reason why I think it's great to go for an oversized blazer is that you can also belt it. And I think this is a great one for if you're more petite as well and you might feel a bit taken over with an oversized blazer. Belting it is a great option and it, that looks great with jeans, but it also looks good if you belt it as a dress. And that's something that I like to do quite a lot and I will be throwing up images somewhere here for you to see. You can wear that back with sandals, you can wear it back with boots, you can wear it with pretty much anything. But having that oversized look is just easier to style and to put together and to pair with other things. So if you don't own an oversized blazer, go and get one. I really truly think with any body shape that you can really pull this off. And it's just a case of how you style it and the areas of your body that you want to accentuate, but it is definitely a key item. My next oversized closet essential is a straight leg jean. And I think we all know now about the rise of like Y2K fashion and the throwback to the 90s and everything is coming more relaxed and baggy and lower rises. We're not even talking about lower rises today, but it is heading in that direction. And I think one of the easiest ways to try and kind of go in this direction without feeling really daunted and intimidated by it is to go for a relaxed straight leg jean. And this isn't like a full on 90s or baggy jean, but just having that straighter, more relaxed fit. And there's a particular pair from Zara. I can't remember the, the number now off the top of my head, but I'll put the number up on the screen and some photos of me wearing and styling these. But 
just having that more relaxed fit is kind of a nod to the trend. A bit of a different silhouette to have in your wardrobe. Baggier trousers and looser fit trousers and wide leg trousers are definitely in and for spring are gonna be a really big trend. But I think bringing this in in denim first is a little bit easier to kind of start off with. So in terms of styling for that, I think that they look great with sandals. They look so good with heels and boots. Just making sure that they're a really nice fit. I really recommend getting them tailored, full upper size to get a more relaxed fit and a more comfortable fit around your hips and your bum, but then get them tailored in the waist so that the waist feels nipped in. And I think that is a really big part of it. If you feel like your jeans are like baggy and falling down and you're having to like pull at them all the time, they're not gonna be comfortable to wear. Having a nice fit on your waist that is just staying up and is where you want it to be is really the key to actually wearing them and not having them just sit in your wardrobe collecting dust. So my key things to take away from this video are balance and proportion are everything. So really think about the items that you're putting together. If you're wearing something super oversized up top, maybe balance that out with something a bit slimmer on the bottom. And footwear comes into this as well. So if you're wearing an over the knee boot, like a fitted over the knee boot, wearing that with a boxier blazer on top just really helps to put balance and proportion into your outfit. And the other thing don't forget about styling and accessorizing belts jewelry those are things that can add those details that will still make you feel feminine they'll still make you feel elevated even if you have something on that's a bit of a loose fit Okay guys, those are my tips for wearing oversized clothing and my closet essentials. If you found this video helpful, please do let me know in the comments below and let me know anything else that you would like me to do a video on next. If you've made it this far into the video and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I would love to have you join the family and see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.